Something's wrong. Bow, cursed. They make O's. Find <gasps> them. Unclean vermin.
how the trolls take you. I have seen a crown on a cleaning basin. There it was. I stole it, ran with it, hid it. Now maggots feast on it. I am certain. Let them rule old Albion. wallop is like none other all it takes is one his fist is a glorious basher of fools full of great oh such a fine wallop it is little ones what is this wallop you speak of it's our grandfather and be careful unless you want a walloping i am certain my might could clove his wallop many cowards have said the same he uses only one fist one wallop boom like a wolf, howling with its knuckles. Well, this wallop has me curious. Ha! Good. Destiny is coming to your plate. Grandfather, there's someone looking for a walloping! Hello. Yes, I have overwhelmingly powerful strength, but it is not worth talking about. If you are a drenger, we should tell stories of battle, swill a cup of mead around a hearth, and share our wisdom. You want some wisdom? Don't become a hero like I have. I'm cursed with this wallop. These children have made me curious. Your calm demeanor even more so. Oh, I beg you. There's no need for this to go where I feel you think it should. <laughs> you best depart unless you desire your face become a fist cave. Children, stop saying such things. I do not want to use it. I truly wish to see this wallop. I will break it with my humble fists. Oh, neither of us will enjoy this, I'm afraid. Time has come for you. Don't say I didn't warn you. The disappointment you will feel, I also feel. Down you go. Oh, I've never been bested before. I'm shocked. Stunned. I never thought it possible. You have thwarted my wallop. You may have access to the treasure my wallop has sadly gifted me over the years. Various rewards for bashing skulls. Oh, I feel liberated of my legacy. Now I can live the normal life that has forever eluded me. Thank the heavens. The treasure he promised. His wallop won him an ocean of riches. Mm. The children kept a collection of those he had walloped. I shall inform the local Washingtons that he lives among them, the traces of the Nephilim, the giant warriors who fought for God in that ancient time. Oh, what strange force is working?
I built the silo and manage our trade deals. All the barley would... The barley in that silo was watered by my blood and sweat. Yes, and you get your share of silver when I sell it. But you keep most of it. Of the thousand you made last month, I got a measly 200. I deserve the extra profit. I secured the sale and managed the tax. Endless hours of negotiating. You there, Dane. Who deserves more? The worker who makes the barley, or he who actually sells it? The silver should be shared equally. How am I to be encouraged to make all of these deals? My endless hustle, the paperwork, he couldn't sell his own eye. The barley would never even exist without me. My barley is known across Mercia and Essex. Sebi's slush. My soul is in the mug. Look out mm. for odd crows. The situation <laughs> is strained between these two uh, brothers. Their word for God is us. And they carve them into trees all over. So why don't we revel in the glory of have we become reduced to animals what have we become reduced to animals Ugh, such a sad laborer without my wits we'd be batting vultures away across mercia people know us because of me I wish our parents would get along like they used to. Before, when there was no silo, and we all shared the barley. Seems silly to think who gets more or what. We have enough. They just fight like dogs. Dogs who forgot why they're even barking in the first place. All they do is squabble. I remember a time when the barley brought us joy. We praised it, smelled it, rubbed it against our bellies. Hi, good farmer. I don't know what to do. I have such anger in me. Take a breath, drink some ale, and enjoy your hard work. No amount of silver is worth a broken friendship. Impossible, I'm afraid. When my blood boils, the world must know. In my home, there is only one way to settle this honorably. A home gang. You're right. Bollocks to him. I'll pummel him. Give him a taste of a laborer's fist. Fucker! <laughs> Come out and fight me! You think I am stealing profits from you? You are stealing dignity from me. If I must raise my fists, I shall. Oh, I shall! You're going to... <sighs> Apart. What I still don't get is why the damn... It is... Children, has your family always been this quarrelsome? Yes, they have. But I hope that has changed thanks to your intervention. Even if it was drastic. Thank you. 
We were once all so happy. But perhaps we can now start over. From scratch. Show me what lies ahead.
Pulling me back wasn't knotted like a dying oak. It's under the Christus of the Evelis. Ach, the wolf held to school on for Rotian on Hella on the edge Nessa. This may not be circled. Not a timber smart abbot, not. Oh, me apple cut a You have lost your apples. But I have. Oh, a devilish wind took me over, and I worry for them. But I've saved the finest and the juiciest. Oh, these apples explode in your mouth with the iridescent light of Jesus. What makes them special? An apple is an apple, no? Oh, I beg to differ, my friend. You see, every year we make the pilgrimage to the west. Hammer's farm. Farmer Hammer, to the west. Yes, we call him the Hammer. And his apples are fine. Have this sweet iron tinge in them. My friends have already made it back. They are surely feasting already, but... I fell on some misfortune. The cart busted. Oh, me apple cart hath fallen! These apples must be eaten. They're too juicy to be left to rot. Sed tibi erit ipse benedictus, non vivet in ignorantiae sue providentiae, verbum autum dei quod es multis sermonibus, et pa... Please, send me an angel, my... Oh, eternal thanks for carrying the crate. I'll be happy to share in the bounty of these apples with you, once we meet up with your friend. Oh, surely. We will share the Lord's work with you. The iron tinge, you will taste it. We all have earned it after fasting. Fasting? Is that when you lack food for your god? Yes, we show our devotion, remove distraction. But now, we give in to the fruits of our creator's work. Sharing an apple with a friend is the most sublime experience. Oh, oh. <laughs> it is nice to sometimes sit back and simply enjoy an apple. Well, with our fortune always changing in life, it's important to enjoy simple pleasures. Do 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 Oh, I am so excited for you to see my friend and eat apples with us. The act of walking, the pilgrimage we're going on. We will prostrate ourselves for Guthlack at the end of this glorious pilgrimage, drown in his reward. Here we are, our tiny sanctuary. Join in prayer for the apples, if you like. We bob. Bob? It is the only way to piously reap the reward of our Holy Father. Praise be to him. Oh, Brother Holtwolf. And you've made a friend as well. Good to have you back. <sighs>
I need to cloak myself here. all the time. Unacceptable. Forget about him. <laughs> that blasted Winchell, will he ever shut his mouth up there on his rock? We kicked Winchell out for good reason. Naked all the time. Unacceptable. Forget about him. That blasted Winchell, will he ever shut his mouth up there on his rock? We kicked Winchell out for good reason. Naked all the time. Unacceptable. Forget about him. That blasted wind. He's not going there on his rock. to your great nudity, to all tyrants of garb. Let it be known you are vile garment mo Why are you naked? Because my uncompromising lack of clothes brings me joy. Yet my very own sect of pious nudists tossed me aside. Nudists? Those who bear their skin for pleasure. Indeed, we, we bear our skin at all times, in the tradition of great Greeks and Romans. Yet some say I am too... enthusiastic. Nude in prayer, at meal times, at work, in the streets and alehouses, everywhere. For Jesus loves us best as we were born. But the group I founded has expelled me. Oh, if I could exact revenge, steal their clothes and render them nude forever, I would. Where about the on air then? That's the crate where we put our clothes. Feel free to store your... Greetings, Dane. This is our private celebration of skin. We are open to all who strip. Would you join us? I met a man who claimed to have created this club. What happened to him? Oh, Winchell. Yes. He was a bit too, um, <clears throat> assertive for us. He was overly tempted by bare flesh, so we had to send him away. I would be honored to join your group. Where do I place my clothes so I can start dancing? Wonderful! A new member. Simply place your clothes in that crate hidden by the tent and partake in the liberation. Oh, that's the crate where we put our clothes. Feel free to store yours in there, too. 
just put your... Hey! Stop that! Put it down! Now! Get the murdering heathen! forever, as Winchell wanted. Now they will adhere to your principles. Yes! You have carried out my revenge. Wonderful. Now they must revel in their nudeness forever. If you like, I have a luminous text with my teachings, a breviary of why one must trust their body's exposed sinew. Enjoy. Be well, Winchell the chest free.
Lead me. Be my eyes. See you, old friend. Welcome, Jörn. May you find a new home here among the Raven Clan. I hope to. And I will start now. <laughs> Rolo, returned from Frankia already. This is a surprise. Is the Lady Estrid well? She is. Had a rough few weeks upon our return, but she is on her feet and with her family. And I am looking for a new adventure. If I remember right, you said I might find it here with your clan. That's right. Your presence is much needed and well appreciated. Settle in, and we will sail soon enough. <laughs> Sigurd Jarl, back where you belong. Oh, I miss you, my brother. Yeah, you miss me? Yeah. Once or twice, I hear. What? You took your time to find me. Was it for this? To enjoy your time on my throne? I did only what you asked of me. And you slew all those who questioned you. That is not what happened. Ranvi, Ranvi will tell you. Oh, yeah. We'll see. My dear wife. Brought to me as a gift by her clan to pacify my ambition. Yes, I'm sure she will be the one to tell me the truth. What did that witch, Fulcate, do to you? You cannot even begin to imagine the things I've seen. What I've learned. Born of gods is who I am. A lord of war. A Roman Mars. I know who I am. I know my destiny. And you will not hinder me! Brother. Forgive me. I am faint. Tired of the day and all that has passed. I need air. He's been this way since his return. Could you speak with him? Settle his mind? I can try. Stand with cheer, one and all. Today is a day of celebration. Our Jarl is with us. Tonight, let us drink. Basim, will you not join us? In time, I may celebrate. But tonight is a melancholy mood. I would rather sit here quietly, alone, with my thoughts. I understand. Do not let Sigurd's present mood upset you. He spoke warmly of you as we sailed here. I believe he still trusts you more deeply than he can express. We trust each other. That is clear. Enjoy the feast, Eivor.
Where is Sigurd gone? Go, my eyes. Cemetery. His mood is dark. There you are, brother. What are you doing here? I was looking for you. Sigurd. Dark died defending my honor? So he claimed. Then he was a fool. My honor needs no defense. It is stone solid, unblemished. I offered him a way out. But... Shh. Say nothing more of the past. It is gone. There is a rift as deep as death between then and now. I was tested, Eivor, in a crucible of blood and fire. And in my agony, I was reborn. You may think me less than I was, but this is not so. I am greater than before. My mind is a wellspring of prophecies, visions that tell me who I truly am. And for all that, I am grateful for my suffering. Sigurd, I want to understand. But all this, all you say makes little sense. Basim saw these things in me. Fulke, too. Despite her cruelty, she spoke the truth. I am more than the man I was. More than this hobbling stick that stands before you. You must look harder, Eivor. Deeper. See for yourself what they found in me. Do you see it? My greater self. I... I don't know what that means. Look! This is the face of a god. I see only my brother and my truest friend. Return to where he is loved and cherished. Where he's meant to be. You are kind. But your eyes are clouded by the past. A place I can no longer see. I fear our paths diverged long ago. Go. I wish to be alone. Return to my feast and drink for me. Celebrate the days to come in my name. Seems the wind calls me back to Ranvi. Best tell her the good news. Greetings. What happened yesterday? You and Sigurd disappeared during the feast. And when he returned, he went straight to our room without a word. We talked for a time. I asked many questions, but got few answers. I wish I could say more. Sigurd wants to blame me for every mishap that has befallen him, but gives me no credit for his rescue. I don't understand. Yet he does speak with you. With me, he has gone totally silent. So, what now? This is for Sussex. We burned it to the ground to save one man. Yet he's barely the man we were searching for. Quite so. Thank <laughs> you. 